In a quiet town of Westmoreland, a shocking case of theft has left many in disbelief. The story that unfolds not in the shadow but bright light of one of the America's largest retail chains, Walmart. What began as a routine job for one employee has now turned into a criminal investigation. As allegations surface that this particular individual managed to steal over $40,000 through a scheme involving fake returns. But how did this happen and what are the consequences? Let's take a closer look at this surprising turn of events. So, on an ordinary Thursday afternoon, police was called to Mills Drive in North Huntington to look into theft at a local Walmart. What they found was surprising that a scheme that has been quietly stealing money from the store for almost two months. Robert O'Brien, a Walmart employee, has been under the watch of the store asset protection team since early June. They suspected that something was wrong and their doubt was absolutely right. Brian had been creating fake returns to steal money and that too $47,802 since June 1st to be exact. Now the plan was really simple. Brian would fake a return at the register and then go to the cash office to get money for that fake return. After getting the cash, he would slip in into his pocket thinking that no one would notice. Now this wasn't just one time mistake, it was a carefully planned operation that he carried out 9 times between June 1st and July 28th. Each time he took thousands of dollars believing that he could keep getting away with it. But the store's asset protection team was watching closely. They documented every instance and gathered enough proof to confront him. When the police finally questioned Brian, he admitted that he stole between $50,000 to $60,000 more than they had originally thought. Now this case shows that even in everyday places like Walmart, there are people who might take advantage of their position to steal. Now Brian has to face the consequences of his actions and community of North Huntingdon is left shocked that such a big theft can happen right in their own town. For more such videos, do follow TimesXP.